not as Muslim, not as Pentecostal, not as Seventh-day Adventist, not as, not, not as Rastafarians, not as Muslim, but the Most High God wants us to gather ourselves together as Israelites, because that's who we are. That's yes, right. Read that again. Gather yourselves together. Yay! Gather together. Oh, nation not desire. Because we are a nation that's not desire. That's why they kill us on the streets and there's no, there's no, um, what do you say? Just, there, just there's no nation. justice behind it. You understand? That's why they could do that because we are people not desire. They wanted to us that like our lives is worth nothing. You understand? If it was a white person, the couple wouldn't have did that because number one, they don't feel threatened by a white person. You understand? But they are threatened by us. You understand? But read that again. Gather yourselves together. Yay! Gather together, O nation not desire. So let me tell you, let me show you all according to the Bible how we deal with all them police shooting that goes on in our community. How we deal with it is by gathering ourselves together. You understand? Imagine if we used to gather together and we used to say, listen, we not, we not much, <coughs> we don't gather together and much, but we gather together and say, listen, we not celebrating Christmas no more. Right. Or we not celebrating Easter no more. That's right. You understand? Because the only way you could affect, you could, you could, you could attack this man is by two attacking his finances, his economy. You understand? By us marching, that ain't doing nothing to him. Right. You understand? But imagine if we say, listen, we ain't celebrating none of these pagan days, 4th of July, and all that crap that you all got set up. We ain't celebrating none of that no more. That's, That's right. what's gonna hurt him. You understand? You know how much billions of dollars our people spend? When these wicked pagan holidays come along, and you know how much how much money our people spend. But let me show you all some. Go to go to um, Leviticus five and one. Because guess why these police? Guess why there's police in our community? If you go to the white people community, do you see police officers walking up and down the street? No. If you go in the Chinese man community, do you see police officers walking up and down the street? No. Why in our community? Because our people is full of sin. You understand? We are the ones that, what you always hear about black and black crime. You don't hear on crime, Chinese and Chinese crime. You understand? Because of us, they got jobs. Because we are the ones that's on the corner selling drugs, killing each other. You understand? So they say, you know what? We need to build prisons to lock these niggas up. And let's put, let's put extra police in their community to, to police them. And these same police is the ones that are killing us. You understand? That's why, um, that's why we need to, we need to stand up for the Mosai and stand up for these scriptures, and, and 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 start getting our communities, getting ourselves together. You understand? When I say getting ourselves together, read read that Leviticus five and one. Leviticus chapter five verse one. And if a soul sin, and hear the voice of swearing and is a witness whether he has seen or known of it. So read that again. And if a soul sin. So God says, if a soul sin, read on. And hear the voice of swearing and is a witness whether he has seen or known of it. So you're seeing sin going on in your community. You understand? You're seeing harm, wickedness going on in your community. You understand? And the most I say, and you don't utter it, utter it, we don't. If he do not utter it, then he shall bear the iniquity. You gonna bear the iniquity. So you brothers and sisters seeing evil in your community. You seeing evil going on in your community. You see niggas selling drugs on the corner. You see sisters selling they, selling they, selling they sell. And you say, you know what? I don't see nothing, I ain't saying nothing. You understand? But guess what? That's the mind. That's the mind frame of a fool. Because if you are king or you are ruler and you rule in a society, you telling me you wanna you wanna allow wickedness to go on in your in your, in your community in your, in, your, in, 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 in your kingdom? No. You understand? So imagine when we black men start rising up and start 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 stopping our people from doing these these committing these wickedness these crimes in our community then we ain't gonna have no reason for the white man to come in and police us. You understand? Yeah, come, come, come. 
12 tribes, each gonna seal 12, right? Right. That's 144,000. Right. What happens to all the extra other Israelites all over the, that's been keeping the laws and everything? What happens to them? All right, go to Revelation 7. Yeah. Revelation 7. All right. Revelation 7. Revelation chapter 7, verse 9. Read. After this I beheld, and lo, a great multitude. Now, start, 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 start from, um, we'll start verse, yeah. Okay, verse 4. Yeah. Okay. And I heard, Revelation chapter 7, verse 4. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand. So this is who is going to be sealed of the children of Israel. You understand? Because the kingdom is for the children of Israel. The kingdom is, is us ruling this earth in righteousness under Christ. That's, right. that's what the king, that's the, what the, that's what the kingdom is. The kingdom is not you dying and going and live up in the sky. You understand? That's not the kingdom. That's not, that's not what the king, kingdom is talking about. You understand? You know what them Christians say? You ain't gonna go to the kingdom of heaven. It's not so when you die, you go to sleep. Right. You understand? Right. You do not go down in <coughs> You do not go down in hell, neither do you go up in the sky and live. Huh? How does you resurrect? When you die, let me get let me get that in um first jo no first let me get Psalms 107. Okay. Psalms 107, then go to Job 3. Because what you gotta understand, when you die, that's not the end of it for you. You understand? That's not the, I'm going to answer a question for you, all right? When you die, that's not the end of it. Psalm 107, I want 132. It's, uh, I know you're talking about, hold on, 29. 29? Psalm. All right. <coughs> hold on, let me get it. 104. Because listen, that all that, that they teach is Greek mythology. They all got that from Zeus. Right. And, and Aphrodite, you know, um, what would you call that thing, that Zeus mythology where Greek you go? Mythology. Uh, what, what you call Greek, it again? The Greeks were real people. Right, right, right. The Greeks were white people. But what you yes. call that? What they, what they go and live up in the sky? What they call it? Olympus? What they call oh, it? Oh, Olympus. Olympus. Oh, Mount Olympus. 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 All right. Marie. Psalms chapter 104, verse 29. So this answer your question, okay, sis? Thou yes. hidest thy face. Thou hidest thy face. Read on. They are troubled. Read on. Thou takest away their breath. Thou takest away their breath. Meaning, meaning when your breath is taken away from you meaning you die you are no longer living all right we don't they die and return to their dust and we did return to the dust we don't thou sendest forth thy spirit and after you die and you return to the dust the most I send forth his spirit we don't they are created and they are created again you understand we don't and thou renewest the face of the earth and that that same spirit the most I used to re renew the face of the earth. Meaning, guess what? It's not the first time you've been here on this earth. Right. You understand? That's why sometimes you, let me get that one in Job. That's why you be, sometimes you be like, damn, something is familiar, like I did this already. It's called deja vu. You understand? Because it's not the first time you've been on this earth. That's why, that's why the most I told Moses, he said, visiting the sins, the iniquities of the children upon the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Because every third, or fourth generation, you come back on this earth. So if you did something wicked right now, guess what, the Mosai is a righteous judge. You might not get judged for that right now, but that's why you see some baby born certain way. Or a little kid walking on the street and a straight bullet hit him in his head. You understand, you're like, damn, why did God allow this to happen to this little child? Isn't God just, isn't he right? Why did this happen? You understand, but why did, why did it happen? Because it's the Mosai break judging him for the sins he did in the past. You understand? And the apostles, the, the apostles understood this. Let me get that in Matthew. Okay. Who said John, John. John. Yep, I got it. I got is it John 19? John 19. Oh, all right, get that and read it. I'm going to show you all something because the apostles and them, they understood this. All right? It's today in this society we don't understand it because America have taught us lies. Christianity have taught us lies. All right? They teach us when you, they teach you Greek mythology. When you die, you go live up in the, in the sky with Jesus. No. Jesus Christ coming back to conquer this earth and rule this earth in righteousness. That's what he's coming back for. Read. John chapter 9 verse 1. And as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind from his birth. So this man, you know he got some people that's blind, that got certain illness. 
Well, this man was blind from his birth, meaning he was born blind. Because some people born with infirmities. Some people born deaf, they born, they born retarded. You understand? With all kind of illness. Well, this guy, he was born blind. You understand? Read on. And, then, and his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who did sin? So what they asked him? Who did sin? So the disciples and them see the man born blind, they say, who sinned? Read on. This man, did he sin? Or his parents? Or did his parents sin? You understand? Because remember, this man was born blind. <coughs> so how can he sin if he was born blind? How can he sin? He was, when is it, when, what, what is that, what, what, what are they saying here? No, they asked him, the, apostles, the, the disciples and them asked Christ, they said, did this man sin or did his parents sin? All right? But remember, this man was born, born blind. So when did he sin? He, he born blind. So, he, so when did he sin? He didn't sin. Okay, let me, okay, let me read, read Exodus 2 again. Exodus 2, please. Exodus 2. I'm going to show you something. All right, Exodus 2, 20, so 20 and, um, you got it? Exodus chapter 20, verse 5, sorry, verse 6. Thou sh and showing mercy, sorry, let me start verse 5. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers. So he, he so the most I God visit the iniquity of the fathers, like I do something, right? I do something wicked. The most I go and visit my sin, read on. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children. Upon who? The children. Upon the children. So when the father commits sin, sometimes the iniquity falls on the kid. Read on. Upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Uh, upon the children, upon the third and fourth generation. Meaning every child that born, Every three or four generation, you understand? That man that committed that sin, he might die, and the three or four generation, he gonna come back, and the most I bring forth judgment on him. You understand? That's why we said nobody escaped anything. Nobody escaped the most I. All these, all these Edomites and them, these rednecks that was lynching us in slavery in the 80s, in the 60s. Guess what? You think they did? They did that, and everything is all good. The most I God forgot about it, and. You know, no. Let me get um Isaiah. Okay. Isaiah, you know what I want? Isaiah 14 and 21. Okay. Isaiah 14 and 21. Because the Most High God is a just God, and you think they don't? They they wouldn't have to pay for what they did. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 21. Prepare slaughter for his children. So you see what you heard? What the Most High God says? Read that again. Prepare slaughter for his children. God says prepare slaughter for his children. Who is talking about? The children of Edom. Because they're going to pay. All you see, all you see them police shooting and all them hate things you see going on in this society. You understand? Don't worry, they're going to pay for all of that. You understand? That's why we, we have that hope to understand. Listen, we're going to fight them with this Bible. You understand? We're going to fight them with the word of the Moorside God. You understand? Because as I said, if we come together as a people, <coughs> we got ourselves together, we could shut down this whole economy. You understand? We could shut down this whole economy, but no, we want to march. And we don't understand marching don't do anything. Read. For the iniquity of their father. So we're going to judge Edom. This is talking about Edom for the sins of their fathers. Read on. That they do not rise. And they ain't gonna rise no more. The white man ain't gonna rise into power no more. We don't. Nor possess the land. Neither will they possess these lands no more. Because this land right here, they took it from our brother, the North American Indians. We don't. Nor fill the face of the world with cities. And they ain't gonna be filling the face of the world with them, with them cities no more. All right? So go back to where you was at. Let me go back to Revelation. Yeah, go back to Revelation. So you understand. You understand that when you die, you understand your spirit go back to the Most High. The Most High use that spirit to, 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 
and send back that spirit to replenish the earth. You understand? The more that's all because, it's not, as I said, it's not the first time you've been here. It's not the first time none of us been here. When you see a little kid born with deformities, no, no, no. Go back to um, go to, go back to John. John, and let's finish that. John, let's finish that. John chapter nine, verse two, and his disciples asked him, saying, "Master, who did sin?" This man, did this man sin? Or his parents? Or did his parents sin? Because when you commit sin, when you commit a sin, guess what? The most I might don't judge you now, you live your whole life, you commit much wickedness. Jay-Z, Beyonce, you see how they living it up and so forth. You understand? They might not they mightn't get judged for that now, but guess what? In every third or fourth generation, when they come back, the most I gonna judge them for all the wickedness they done. You understand? Read on. They might be born blind, might be born deformed. You won't be like, as I said, there's a reason why these things happen. You might say, damn, why, why is this kid born this way? Is the most high put bring forth judgment. That kid innocent, he ain't did nothing. That's what a lot of our people say, but no. That kid is not innocent. You understand? The most high understands spirits. The most high know what spirit that is. You understand? Read on. Who did sin? This man or his parents that he was born blind. That he was born blind. So is either is either he is either him sin or his parents. That's why he was born blind. But let's see what Christ said. Read. Jesus answered, Neither had this man sinned, nor his parents. So Christ said he didn't sin. But remember, he was born blind. But Christ said, listen, he didn't sin, nor did his parents sin. Alright? But read on. But but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. Because what did Christ do? Christ healed him. Christ gave him back his sight. You understand? So, so, so that's showing you that a lot of times when you see people get killed and so forth, you're like, damn, why did this happen? That's a little baby. Why this person born deformed and so forth? Does the most I bring judgment on either that family or on that kid for what he did in the third before what he did a couple couple of generations ago all right so from there go go to um, revelation and, and answer this brother question i got you all right let me just deal with his question revelation, revelation chapter 7 verse 4. and this right here is showing you that the kingdom is not for all nations right the kingdom is not for the chinese right it's not for the white man us, it's right. not for the arabs right. the kingdom is the children of israel us ruling this earth in righteousness under christ that's right, right. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed an hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of all nations, read that again. Of the children of Israel. And so who going to be sealed is going to be, read that again, man, read it again. And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed an hundred Forty and four thousand. One hundred and forty-four thousand. Read on. Of all the tribes. Of all the tribes, because you know why that is important. They say the tribe of Israel is no more today. Right. You understand the Jewish people? They call themselves Jews, and they say, and and they say the other ten tribes, the other tribes of Israel, we don't know where they are. Nobody know who they are. It's a mystery. They did disappear off of the face of the earth. No, they didn't disappear. They here today. You understand? When you look on that sign right there, you tell you who they are today. Right. All right, read on. A hundred and forty and four thousand of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Read on. Of the tribe of Judah. Oh. Of the tribe of Judah, which is who the black Americans, read on. Were sealed twelve thousand. So this is talking about the government. When you read Isaiah, it says, the government shall be upon his shoulder, which is Christ. You understand? So this is talking about the ruling government is Christ, the 12 apostles, and the 144,000 with all the children of Israel. All right, so read that again. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. So 12,000 leaders coming out from the tribe of Judah. Read on. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Read on. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Naphtali, was sealed twelve thousand. Now jump down to the verse that he wanted, verse nine. And after after so this, so we just read out that all of the twelve tribes, there were sealed twelve thousand. 
All right, the 12,000 leaders that are going to lead, that are going to rule this earth with Christ. All right, read on. After this, I beheld, and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations. So this great multitude that no man could number, all right, this is talking about Israel. Remember the question you asked me? All right. All the ones that... What about the other ones that have been kept in the, the leftovers? All right, so let's, been let's keep it the laws. That, that's what? That's been keeping the laws and the commandments. All right, this is so we what, what happened about to them? Again. Oh, I thought you. After I, this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude. That great multitude is Israel coming from the four corners of the earth. Because our people have been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth in slavery. Yeah. Right. All right, so this is talking about Israel coming from the four corners of the earth. Read on of all nations that's why i say of all nations because guess what i'm from trinidad that's another nation all right brothers in in um cuba that's another nation we got israel over there in ghana that's another nation all right brothers here in america that's another nation all right brothers so brothers in philip in the philippines that's another nation so it says israel gonna be coming from all nations all right read on of all nations. And that's why it says of all nations. It doesn't mean that all the heathens come in with us. That's not what we're talking about. Read on. Of all nations and kindreds. And not kindreds. And people. And people because a lot of us look alike. I mean look different. All right? Read on. And tongues. And tongues. We, we, why? Because a lot of us speak different languages. Somebody speak Portuguese. Somebody speak Spanish. Somebody speak English. Somebody speak Creole. Some brothers teach Dutch, right. some brothers in, in Ghana, they speak te tweet and all type of different languages. You understand? So that's why I say in different tongues because all of our people are going to be speaking different languages. All right, read on. Tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and, we're and be palms clothed. in their hands. So this is the, other, this is the rest of the Israelites. They said they're going to be clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. All right, so this is that multitude right there. The reason All right. The question came up, and it was important to me, um, because there was, well, when something is too good to be true, it probably is. All right. I was so thinking, yeah. Right. I look at you. You got fire. a fire, right? Thank you. All right. I was thinking, like, yeah, tribe of Judah. Okay, let's get it. I've been, you know, like I was telling these brothers the last time I was here, but I've been coming too late for them to answer the question. Tribe of Judah, you know, I've been keeping the laws, doing everything. And then some things that some deceptions in the book didn't make sense. Okay, excellent. there's one. Uh, yeah, there's a break. There's a basic breakdown of the a little bit of the genealogy of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Galatians four. Can I have that? Verse five and six. So you want to know? What, I, explain that to me. What that is? All right, Galatians All right. four, five, and six. You know and you was telling that lady that we are Israel. What the book is? The scripture telling us otherwise. Oh, no, bro. The book don't say otherwise. Christians teach us otherwise. No, no. I'm talking about this book. No, no, okay, no, Galatians no. Galatians 4, 5, and 6 verse. Galatians. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Wow. Listen, man. No, Listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't have no problem. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't have no problem with any person up here. No, 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 no. Listen. No, I don't have no problem. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. It's the teaching that I have a problem with. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. I've been answering my questions, so. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. My question, what does what does this mean right here? I understand. They, the no, what does this Egypt, mean? Spiritual Egypt, not, not physical. So that's in talking about physical? Talking All right, about read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. The, the word Egypt here means bondage. Oh, you I understand? know slavery. 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 Yeah. slavery. Yeah. So it says that the Mosai is going to bring us into Egypt. What? With ships. With ships. Did that spiritually happen yeah. to our people? Or yeah. did that physically happen slavery to our people? Didn't happen. The Greeks conquered the Egyptians. Yes, that did happen to black people. Yes. Bro, bro, slavery. I'm talking about did that spiritually happen to us? Or did that physically happen to us? Slavery physically happened. Okay, all right, read on. But the people. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. Has we spiritually seen our homeland again? Or have we physically seen our homeland again? No. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Was we spiritually sold to our enemies? 
No, he was not. We was physically sold to our enemies. Moses prophesied this thousands of years ago. You understand? And it happened to our people. It happened. Listen. That those Listen, characters, let me get they, they're just mythical. You know what I want? They didn't exist. They were explaining. All right, I'm going to show you some. I'm going to show you some, man. Because you cannot, you cannot no, go to the I book. I'm telling you. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You cannot go to the book of Galatians and try and, and try. I'm going to explain it to you, but I'm going, I'm going to take you somewhere before I explain it to you. You understand? Because you're fighting against the word of the Most High. You understand? Because you say, you say that there is. We well, said faults in the Bible. Well, he said that, that there is faults in the Bible. Mother but let me get that. Let me get that in Peter. Second Peter chapter get three verse sixteen. As also in all here, his epistles, you're about, you're speaking of in them of these things, in which book. are some things hard to be understood. Don't so it. understand this. This is what Paul said. Read that again. And I'm going to prove it to you. This is what Peter said. So read it again. As also in all his epistles. In all the epistles that Paul wrote. All right, read on. Speaking in them of these things. Speaking in them of these things. Read on. In which are some things. Some things are what? Are hard to be understood. Some things is hard to be understood, brother. So you can't read the book of Galatians you not keeping God laws. I told you, you not, I, listen, I listen, told you, listen, 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 listen. I used to because I started digging and researching listen. history, read that archaeology, again. Science, which in which green. are some and things hard to be underststood. Some with, things that you read is hard to be understood. All right, then the can you be some things that you read about. Listen, man, listen, listen, listen. Because listen, listen. The spirit you rolling in, brother. No, 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 You ain't came. You got. You come with the spirit of Satan on you. Well, see, that's your No, 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 no. Listen to me, brother. If you want to learn, we gonna deal with you. If you here to be argumentative, no, 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 no. You ain't teaching, bro. You ain't teaching us nothing, brother. You understand? You are not gonna teach us anything. You understand? Let me get Psalms 19 and 7. Read that. No, man, man. I ain't wanna hear nothing from you, man. I'm not wanna hear nothing from you, Reverend. Um. Psalms 19 and 7. Okay. You understand? You ain't over here to teach us nothing, man. Right. If you ain't want to learn, keep it moving. No, Go, no, 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 Go keep it I moving if you don't want to learn, me. man. Psalms 19, 19 verse 7. 7. Because what we are here okay, to do, do, we are here to help all right, our people. All right, all right. All right that's why we are here. Okay, we are okay. here to. Listen, if you want to teach. Just, you, no, 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 no. Read that. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Read that again. The law of the Lord is perfect. Converting the soul. Read that again. The law of the Lord is perfect. So you hear that the laws of God is perfect. Read yes, on. Right. Converting the soul. There is no errors in this Bible. There is errors in your mind. Right. You right. understand? Right. Read that again. No the law there. of the Lord is perfect. What is contradiction in that a man should not lie down with another man? What is what is the, what no, contradiction is in that, that a woman yeah. shouldn't lie down with another woman? Right. Yeah. What contradiction is it no, is that, that you shouldn't have hatred towards your brother? Yeah. Right. What what True. what contradiction is in that? No, Read that again. Right. The law of the Lord is perfect. God's law is perfect, brother. You understand? Read. Converting the soul. And it converts our souls and changes us. You understand? If you wasn't a Mr. Adultery, you read the more side God words. Listen, thou shalt not commit adultery. That's you understand? Right. You stop from that wicked life. You understand? You was into idol worshiping. You was worshiping this image right here. You understand? The scripture said, thou shalt have no other gods before me. You stop worshiping this image. You understand? So read that again. The law of the Lord is perfect. So God's laws is perfect. We do Converting the soul. Converting the soul. So you want to teach something? Go out the block and teach the people. Okay. You ain't teaching teach us I nothing. We you ain't teaching okay. us nothing. You understand? Read. Right. 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 The testimony of the Lord is sure. And the testimonies of God is sure. You understand? Meaning whatever this Bible says, it going to come to pass. Right. You understand? The Bible says that we went into slavery on ship and that happened. You understand? So, ain't no contradiction in this book. You understand? They wrote about it. They wrote about it. Put it in. Making wise the simple. And what does the Bible does? Making wise the simple. The Bible makes wise the simple because a lot of our people is simple. Right. You know what another word for simple? What's another word for simple? What is another word for simple? Another word for simple is stupid. Our people, a lot of them is, is stupid. I'm telling you. 
and they follow this world and the yes, doctrine in this world. And God said, read that again from the top. The law of the Lord is perfect. You can't fight against the laws of the Most High. Which, which, what this book is made up of. You cannot go. You understand? Read. Converting the soul. So you want to be converted, brother? Matthew 24. Do you want to be converted? Three through five. Yes or no? Yes or no? Do you want me to be converted? Do you want to be converted? I already did all that, been there, done that. All right, so then you because rejected I found the Bible. Out. So you I'm rejected gonna God. I'm going to show you why. You reject, so you, I'm show you, you admit that you reject God. Matthew so 24. why are you talking to us if you reject Brother, God? Brother, I'm going to show you why. Give me good Matthew 24, 3 through 5, and I'm going to show you why. Because this is where, this is the slope you're going down right now. No, 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 no. This is the slope. So you don't believe in God. Matthew 24. You don't believe in Verse God right now. The Bible contradicts itself and Mother you don't nature believe in God. Is what they call God. What is modern Mother nature? Power, what is God. modern nature? Mother Let me nature get that in our wisdom of Solomon. It's the divine intelligence you know of the universe. Wisdom that governs Solomon all life forms on earth and the natural. Earth. That's what yeah. it is. It has no control of what man so does said, or does not do. He said, you know what? That's what I'm going I'm going to address that and I, I'm going to leave I you did alone. My research. Because what? you and you, they, brother, they you have no understanding. All right? You and me. That's why they call Read this one scripture. What's the the brother said mother nature, mother nature God, is God. God is a all right? deception. Let's see what God Christ says. What's the Bible says? Read. Wisdom of Solomon 13 verse 1. Surely they are all men by nature. So what God says what? Read that again. Surely vain. Surely vain are all men by nature. Are all men by nature. All right, read on. Who are ignorant of God. Who are what? Ignorant of God. Who are ignorant of the most high God. Read on. And could not. Out of the good things that I've seen, know him that is. And, and I what? Read that again. And could not. I could not. Read on. Out of the good things that are seen. What is the good things that are seen? You see the sun, the moon. You understand? You see the stars. You can't look at these things and tell that there is a God, man. Yes. Read. Yes. And that and could not out of the good things that are seen Brother, know him body, that is know him that is we don't neither by considering the works did they How acknowledge the work made? master read that again neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the work from the universe neither by considering the works they watch at the moon the science stars, is how you got here but still, they, they don't understand. They somebody that God created all these things. things. Sure. Yes. You understand? Science yep. They called me God to put fear into it. They Bro, gave it a gender. God. And they gave it a They gave it a gender. And they called it a man. No, 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 brother. Okay. Let's get that and read it. Let's find out where the word God came from. Bro, listen, man. You want to teach somebody? Go up the street and teach, man. Bro, no. We ain't here to argue with you. I'm done with you, man. You know what the hell with that, brother, man? What was your question, brother? Because you don't want to give me the scriptures. Yo, That's let me get that if a man want to be in God. Get that and read it real quick. 3 through 5. What are you hiding? Bro, we are here to help our people. You understand? You don't That's want to help. You don't want to help walk down the street. You understand? Get that First and read Corinthians it. 14, verse 38. But if any man be ignorant. But if any man be ignorant, read on. Let him be ignorant. Then stay ignorant, man. You want to be ignorant, stay ignorant. You understand? No, let me get that thing about science. All that science crap you're talking about, this is what this is what God say about science. Yes, I hope bro. you understand the cell phone, all them things that we got set up in this society, all of that gonna be done away with. Right. You understand? Read. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 20. Read. Oh Timothy, keep that which is committed to thy trust, avoiding profane and vain babblings and oppositions of science. And what? Oppositions of science. Because why? Science opposed the word of the most high. Right. So the most high tell us to avoid opposition of science. You understand? So you want to deal with the yes. science? Go yes. deal with that. You understand? The book. But read. To, to um, falsely like so-called. Falsely so-called. You understand? Brother, what was your question? Okay, okay brother. <laughs> Ask him this for me. Since he's going to talk to me. Hey, bro, you got a question? If come, King come, James come, come, come. Black, right? Come. Come on. As they say he was during slavery. Yo, yo, listen, bro, 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 go down the street, man. Listen, listen, we ain't going back and forth with you, man. Go down, no, you yet to cause argue and strife. Go down the street, man. We not playing with you, man. Right. What, what, what's your question, bro? I want to say, um, I mean, I know Jesus is black, but why is he like? Well, oh, you want to know why is he black? Yeah, yeah. All right. Let me show you something, man. Let me go. Why Jesus Christ was black? 
All right, let me let me go into the scriptures. Let me go into the scriptures, all right? You understand? You want to know why how, how Jesus is black and the scriptures and so forth. Let me get Revelation 1 and 14. You know, that's what made me Revelation 1 and 14. Re also, a saint. Got saints on the Revelation Lord. chapter 1, verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So what does that mean? It means that Christ had white woolly hair. You look up in the dictionary, the word woolly, the old dictionary, your hair is woolly. You understand? The word woolly means hair of a Negro. You understand? You got woolly hair. I got woolly hair. Look at these sisters with the woolly hair. You understand? But in this society today, a lot of our sisters hate themselves. That's why they go by the European here and they put in that weed. All of that is self-hatred. You understand? They want to look like the white woman, a lot of these sisters. That's why they perm their hair. But Christ had what? Read that again. His head and his hands were white like wool. So Christ had white woolly hair. Christ wasn't, Christ didn't have straight dead hair. You understand? Christ was not a European. You understand? Read that again. His head and his hands were white like wool. Read on. As white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet like unto fine brass. As if they burned in a furnace. So Christ's feet was like what? Like unto fine brass. As if they was burned in a furnace. Oh, you take, that's, that's your complexion. Right, right. You understand? That's your complexion. You understand? So from, from there, yeah. to the time you're 10 and 5. So Christ wasn't just a regular, a regular man of color. Christ was a dark skinned brother. Right. You understand? Christ was very dark skinned. You know how, you know how the brothers that are real dark skinned and the sisters, they, they uh, make fun of them. They say, um, they say, God, God left you in the oven too long. Well, Christ was left in the oven too long. You understand? Now, Daniel 10 and 5, I read that. Daniel, bro, you ain't proving nothing. I tell you, go down the street, man. You understand? Go down the street, brother. We ain't playing with you. Read. Daniel chapter 10, verse 5. Then I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of Euphrates. His body also was like the barrel, and his face as the appearance of lightning. So we're reading about Christ here, okay? Read on. And his eyes as lamps of fire, and his arms and his feet. So we're reading about Christ's arms on Christ's feet. Read on. Like in color. Like in what? Like in color. Because the Christians say there's no such thing as color in the Bible, right? Everybody is equal in Jesus. But read that again. His arms and his feet. Like in color. Like in color. To polish brass. So you take brass and you polish it, that's, that is Christ's complexion. Right. You understand? So now, let me go from the foundation. I'm going to go from the foundation. From the first man that was created. Alright? Because the first man that was created was a dark skinned man. And I can prove that in the Bible. You understand? They don't understand. This book is a book of life. That's right. You understand? Right. That's what this book is. Right. The people and them that find fault with it is the people and them that don't want to govern themselves on the laws. Because right. this book is made up of laws. You don't want to follow laws, you want to do whatever you want to do. You know, you can go do whatever you want to do. You understand? But you got you following this Bible, you gotta follow the laws written in this Bible. That's All right. right. Now read. Genesis 2 and 7. Read. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. So what color was the dust of the ground? What color was the dust of the ground? If you dig into the earth, right? If you dig into the earth, how the earth is? On the top might be a little light skin brown. But you dig deeper and deeper, it get darker and darker. You understand? So that's how man was created. Man was created from the dust of the ground. That's why you look at all of us here. We all have different shade of brown. You understand? So read that again. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. So from there, let me get Job 30 and 30. Let's, let's deal with Job, the prophet Job. Well, I'm showing you all the prophets, all the great men in the Bible was men of color. You understand? They were black men. Right. They was not Europeans. Because the Israelites was black men. You understand? Read. Job chapter 30 verse 30. My skin is black upon me. Read that again. My skin 
is black upon me. Read that again. My skin is black upon me. So Job said his skin is black upon him. You understand? That's the prophet Job. You understand me? So now go for Songs of Solomon. Songs of Solomon. Let's see what Solomon said. The wisest man that ever walked this earth, which was not a European. You understand? Read. Right. Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black, but comely. So Solomon said he's a black man. He said, I'm black, but comely. You understand? Read. O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, because the tents of, of Kedar was black. You understand? So Solomon says he's black and comely. You understand? And that, the word comely mean what? The word comely mean handsome. You understand? So Solomon said he's black and handsome. You understand? So all of this is in the Bible, yet people find fault with it. They got this white image. The, the white man didn't change a book. All he did is lie to us. That's all he did. He didn't right. change the words in the book. Otherwise, he would take that out. You understand? And, and that's why we got to stop. A lot of us got that um, inferior complex about ourselves. That self-hatred where a lot of us, a lot of sisters bleach their skin. A lot of brothers bleach their skin. They use the cake soap and all of that and try to look like the white man. Yeah, like Vibes Cartel and um, what that little Kim? Oh, little Kim. Little Kim. I don't know what the hell she is now. You understand? Say she passed. Even Beyonce. Sammy Sosa. But all of them try to look like that image that is set up in the earth today. You understand? That's what all of them. That's what all of them look. Try to look at. You understand? Beyonce. And guess what? A lot of a lot of these young kids they they follow Beyonce. You understand? But that's, that's self-hatred, man. That's what that thing is. All right? I am black, but comely. So Christ said he's black and comely. You understand? Now let me go. I'm going to show you right through the scriptures. Right through the scriptures, all our forefathers was men of color. You understand? You never see that in the Bible before, but we're going to show it to you. Let me go to, go to Moses. Go to Moses. You know what I want? Yep. I'm going to show you with Moses. But Mo Moses was our binder, right? Huh? Moses, he was our binder. No, that's Noah. Noah was our binder, right? Noah was the albino. Yeah, was he our albino? No, he was not. No, Noah, Noah, Noah was a black man. You understand? Because remember, God formed Adam from the dust of the ground. And every man that came was men of color. Every man back then was men of color. You understand? When you read about leprosy or... Um, or vital, today, science call it vital legal. You understand? But when you read about that, that is what you saw. You see, sometimes you see some black people, some black people, they have kids that are born and the kids, the kids got no, no pigmentation in their body. So that's how the white man came along, when you read about Jacob and Esau. Right. right? Exodus chapter 2, verse 19. And they said, an Egyptian delivered us out of the hand of the shepherds. So, Moses was mistaken for an Egyptian. You understand? Guess what color is the Egyptian? For them to be mistaken Moses for Egyptians, guess what? Moses was a black man. You understand? So no. Let me get it from when the Moses, Moses did the miracle, where Moses put his hand in his bosom. I'm going to get, get that and read it. Ex Exodus chapter 4 verse 7. And he said, put thine hand into thy bosom again. So Moses was dealing with the Moses here. The Moses tell Moses, to show you that I'm God, he said, put your hand in the in your bosom. Alright? Sorry, verse 6. Exodus 4, verse 6. And the Lord said, furthermore unto him, put now thine hand into thy bosom. And he put his hand into his bosom. So when Moses put his hand in his bosom, alright, read on. And when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. Meaning the complexion of his hand changed. It became pale. All the pigment, pigmentation came out of his hand. You understand? Read. And he said, put thine hand into thy bosom again. So now Moses took his hand and he put it back into his bosom. Read on. And he put it into his bosom again and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. So it turned back to the color of, his, of the rest of his body. You understand? Turn back to, so it's showing you that Moses 
was a man of color. All right. So now let me get um, let me get um, Jeremiah 14 and 2. Yeah. How you doing, bro? Yeah. Um, I was just reading the excerpt you have here. I just wanted to know: is the beast that that you speak of, is it a person? Is it an entire concept? Is, is it a an entity as one? Could you explain exactly what the beast is? All right, I'm going to explain to you what the beast is. All right, because uh, first get 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 um first get Revelation 14 and 9. Get Revelation 14 and 9. Revelation 14 and 9. That's it. Yeah. And and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice. If any man worship the beast. So first I'm gonna start with this. It says if any man worship the beast, we don't. And his image. And his image. Alright? Meaning this this is the beast image right here. Right. The white image of Christ that is set up on the earth. That the whole earth follow. You got Chinese bowing down to this white image. You got you got even Muslims bowing down worshiping this image. The whole earth is worshiping this white image of Christ. So it says what? And the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice if any man worship the beast So if you worship the beast we don't. And his image and his image that he got set up on the earth we don't. And receive his mark his mark is going, goes into his philosophies, his lies, his politics. You understand? Such as, let me give you an example. His mark is, his mark is you supporting homosexuality. Right, you understand? Right, right. His mark is you supporting him going and take people oil, invading these countries and so forth. You understand? His mark is the democracy. You understand? So you support these things, we don't. And receive his mark in his forehead. And you receive it why said your forehead? Because your forehead is your mind. Meaning you believe these things. You believe in um, Thanksgiving. That day was when he used to, to kill all the North American Indians. You understand? He stole this land from them and killed them and said, we give thanks to God for, for, for conquering them and taking this land. All right, so you, so you follow this man, read on. Or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. You meaning you're going to be put to death when Christ returns. Right. He said you're going to drink of the wine of the wrath of God if you, if you worship the beast and his image. So, all right? So who is the beast today? The, the beast is the, is the whole nation of Edom. You understand? All right, so go to Revelation 13. I'm going to show you that. Your Beyonce's, your rappers, do they not represent the mark of the beast? They, exactly, they promote, they promote the mark of the beast. Okay, they promote the mark. They promote it, but they're not really the beast or they follow. Remember the scripture says, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, his mark is going into all his philosophies, all the sins that he got set up here. Okay, so you understand? We follow, we follow the Beyonce's, the Jay-Z's, yeah, the Biggie Small. Exactly. If we follow the image, then that mark will be the No, this, this is the image right here. The image is the white image of Christ. You understand? That is the image of the beast. You understand? But if we follow Beyonce, Jay-Z, all of them promote America. They promote the sins that America uphold. They promote homosexuality. You understand? They promote uh, our young girls acting and dressing as hoes. You understand? Beyonce don't talk to them young girls and say, you don't dress. No, she dresses as a hoe and she don't care. Them other sisters and them, they could, you know, she don't care about the young girls. She don't care about our youth. You understand? So. The, the system is using Beyonce and all the people that is high amongst us. Amongst all people, there is a lot of great people that celebrities and so forth. The beast, all the white man is using them to, 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 to keep us in sin. Right. You understand? Now, let me get that in um, those that I esteem. Is it Luke 6? No, Luke 16. Luke 16. I'm going to show you all something about Beyonce and um, all, these, all these artists and so forth. Oh, you, okay. I'm gonna show you, show, show you all something. Get that and read it. Data as esteem amongst men. Luke chapter 16, verse 15. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men. Because we don't justify ourselves before men. We are here to teach, thus says the Lord. Whether you want to hear it or not, you're gonna hear, thus says the Lord. That's right. Three. But God 
know of your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men. So that which is highly esteemed amongst men, we don't. Who is esteemed? You got Obama, you got uh, Michelle, you got um, Jay-Z, you got Nas, you got all these great people amongst us. You got Eric Sharpton, you got Jesse Jackson, you know, you got all these people that is highly esteemed amongst us, we don't. That, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. Is abomination in the sight of God. All right? So, sister, you had a question? No? Come on, this, you could ask a question. I ain't going to bite you, man. No, no, no. No, um, no it was um, in reference to what the other guy was trying to ask, I guess. Okay. He was, what was he saying? He was saying something about John and him... John, John the Baptist being like, a, I get it. Yeah. Like, I know he's wrong. Which dude? He said the saints are the Catholic Church. Well, listen. Oh, okay, never mind. I, I didn't. Yeah, you yeah you I understand? know. I know he is. Yes, yeah, yeah. of course, confusion. That's why I dismissed it. You know, but um, what question do you got? Um, ooh, well. You know you Israel, number one? Yeah, I do. How long do you know you Israel? Um, maybe for the past uh, two months or so. Two months? Mm -hmm. So you come with Well, I'm trying to I'm trying to get into it, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, you, so I mean I, I talked to somebody that's already within your group. So. Okay, 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 that's good. They helped me. Alright, so so you learned it, so that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Hello, I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.